One of the most crucial parts of promoting your music that gets overlooked is having a tool that you know well and is easy for you to use. I tell musicians all the time, one of the best things about being a musician in 2023 is there are way less options for tools and the right one is usually very obvious. So let me introduce you to one of my favorite tools. Hyped It, which has so many great tools like the ability to collect fans' emails and pre-save campaigns, tracking pixels to retarget fans, and automatic email promotions with download gates, is such a great tool that I really have been enjoying exploring. And you get all this for $9 a month or $99 a year after a seven day free trial, which is why I'm so excited to have them sponsor this video so I can show you how you can use this great tool. So what I wanna highlight today though, is their music ad automation. Now, we all know I have qualms to say the least with Facebook ads when it comes to certain artists using them and I've discussed that enough for a lifetime, but so many of you wanna use Facebook ads still and get ripped off by the con artists who take your money to set them up, who then ghost you the second you have questions and they get your money. So I want you to get familiar with a service that will do right by you if you do want to use Facebook ads. I think this tool really makes it simple to use Facebook ads since I know you don't want to have to take a PhD level course to learn how to use them. So Hyped It has you covered. And with the technique we're going to use below, you can make it algorithmic strength for your songs so they tell Spotify the artists you should be connected to in the algorithm so you blow up on Spotify off the strength of what you do here rather than messing up your algorithm as I've talked about before and your fans also like. I have to say this technique we're going to talk about is particularly good for those of you who are really upset that your fans also like section is non-existent or really wrong. Since you can start to get the exact artists, as long as you start small, that you should be connected to to show up in your fans also like. And I came upon this technique when I was hired to do just that a few weeks ago, and it worked. So if you like what you see here, be sure to use my link in the description for Hyped It so that they know I sent you and sign up for your free seven day trial. So let's talk about why their music ad automation is so effective for this. The automation for music advertisements identifies interests related to music based on your musical style. It chooses appropriate demographics for fans automatically. It also picks the most suitable countries on Spotify to target along with optimal platforms and devices. This automation seamlessly links all aspects of your campaign with the correct tracking code as well. And these ads then run on Facebook and Instagram. The automation can even generate ad headlines and text. So if you can't come up with content to make for your ad, well, Hyped It's got it handled. It produces videos for your advertisements and constructs complete ad campaigns for platforms like Facebook and Instagram. This includes configuring campaign settings, creating ad sets, composing ads, and all the other boring things that you don't want to do. Lastly, it automates and monitors your analytics for you and really gives you good insights that you can use about them and how to make your campaigns work even better. You can leverage this information to enhance your presence on Spotify, such as increasing followers, playlist reach, and artist profile engagement, along with boosting the number of saves for your tracks on Spotify. But we should get to the secret sauce here of what I like to do to make it so that you're strengthening your Spotify algorithm. So what I think is often most effective to do here is to promote a playlist of similar artists in your genre that will strengthen your ties to the right artists in your genre so Spotify starts to learn who it should recommend you to. So I would first do what I tell you all the time and do your community work. And if you haven't watched my video on that, it is linked in the description and you should really go deeper on it after this video. And you need to find a bunch of artists with 30 to 150,000 monthly listeners that sound similar to you. You could do this easily by going to sites like Every Noise at Once, by clicking here and start listening to the artists. But what I want you to do is put your song in a playlist with these other smaller artists. Put five different songs of yours as track number one, six, 11, 16, and 21. Now name your playlist something that reflects your genre. For example, if I was doing this for my joke group and sell hype beast who makes hyper pop, I would do hyper pop songs to get none too, since you know, that's my thing. Then I would run ads on it towards the people who like this genre. So when people come to your playlist, they listen to the other artists who are small enough that you can build algorithmic links to. So Spotify will suggest you when people listen to them and put you in their fans also like sections and make the right connections on Spotify. Since so many times, 
if you just promote yourself on Spotify with ads, you get tied to artists who sound nothing like you, instead the artists who also advertise on Facebook that people click on. If you focus on these artists, not only will fans of the genre probably revisit the playlist, especially if you add to it weekly and move songs around, but it will ensure that you are getting more algorithmic bonds with the right artists and help you set up for your Spotify growth that doesn't mess up your algorithm. And here's how we set that up. So first we're gonna create an ad campaign that promotes a playlist. As you can see here, there's plenty of other options, but this is the one I like for the task of bolstering your algorithm. Then we're gonna connect your Facebook account. Select the page and accounts you want the ads to run from. I've done ads with a million accounts, so let me select the right one here, which will of course be Incel Hype Beast. Then make sure to click your Facebook ad account if you have more than one and which pixel to track. So we'll now we'll link the Spotify playlist you wanna promote from its URL, which you can grab here, and then enter the song of yours you most wanna promote and enter a genre. Then I like to add one of these video effects since it makes the video that plays with the ad a little more snazzy. Then next we wanna grab a few snippets of audio. These should be your strongest hooks in the song, like what you would put on TikTok. I would add one or two of them. So go at your DAW and make a loop of the hook you would make for TikTok or get an app like Fission, which is what I use for fast edits that you can see here. Now you can choose which countries to target. Now, this is different for each artist depending on your goals. So choose which ones you prefer. Now it's time to target some of the groups that are on the playlist and enter them in here so we can generate some interest. So when we're targeting, we wanna put some of the bigger artists that are in this playlist to target with since they'll have more people to serve ads to. And we can even put some bigger artists whose fans would most likely like your music in here that aren't on the playlist. You could add between three and 10 to give it targets of who it's gonna serve ads to as fans. Next, we need to generate interests for your ad. Then enter a budget. Now, I would definitely bring the age range into something more suited to your audience since this could be wasted money having ads go to a bunch of old people who will never go out and see you live or really check you out. So make sure your ads are in the range since 65 is often twice the age of some of your oldest fans. Now, I would then put a headline that has your micro genre in it and highlight some of the bigger groups in the playlist in the text here for your targeting. Now, look over your summary and it's time to run your ad. That sure was easy. Now, a really cool thing is after your ad has been running, you can look at analytics and you can see which of these musicians you targeted are helping your ad campaign and which ones are hurting your campaign and you can tweak them in your future campaigns. But I wanna tell you about some more of Hypedit's other tools. While Hypedit offers many tools that artists find valuable in promoting and sharing their music, one of the ones I'm particularly fond of is their smart links, which can link your fans to your song that you can customize to promote your song, but the power Power here really is in the analytics. So you can learn where your audience is listening to your music so you know where to target promotions, tours, and to focus in the future on growing your audience. And Hyped It's Analytic tools update fast so you can see real-time changes as you push out different things and learn useful insights about your audience. So their other tools are download and link gates. So you can send someone to say your new music video and put up a gate that they will need to enter their email address in order to watch the video. This is a really good way to get the emails of your biggest fans when you're promoting to fans rather than new listeners so you can retarget and market merch and concert dates to them later on. Since not having your super fans email addresses is always a missed opportunity or getting them to follow you on Spotify in exchange for getting to see the content. Particularly too, if you have a vlog with a really quick bay title like I'm giving out my phone number here, this is a perfect way to get your most diehard fans to click through. And then it could just be some Google voice number you'll text them from from time to time when you have a big announcement. Then there's Hyped It's Loud Links feature, which I have to say, I think are pretty awesome. So let's say you get a review of your new single on a website. Loud Links allow you to put a playable link down at the bottom covertly, which encourages people to listen to what they're reading about. Honestly, there's tons of possibilities with this tool, and I'm enthused to even go deeper with it. And you should too by using my link in the description to sign up for your seven day free trial. So here's the thing, while you just learned all about Hyped It, you should really learn how the Spotify algorithm works, as well as Instagram and TikToks. So you should watch my video on it that's on the screen now. So make sure you watch that next if you really wanna level up. Thanks for watching.